let us start the session uh, i have brought a few questions i would like you guys to answer those questions and then we'll start with our next uh, new subtopic okay uh, can you just answer this question all these questions which I brought up over here, right? So they all have been asked in the All India PMT questions or NEET questions or we can see AIMS question, right? So all of these are your PYQs actually. Option one. Option one, ma'am. Option one. Okay, is it clear, right? The purpose of taxonomical taxonomy or classification is to facilitate the identification of an unknown species. Okay, the answer is one over here. The next question. Which arrangement is in correct ascending order? Although I haven't taught you this, but I just wanted to see how many of you remember this. D. Option D. D. Okay. Option D. Option no. four. Mercy also four. Yeah. Many are able to see four, right? Yeah. So option four is the right answer. Ascending order they have asked. So make sure that you know what is ascending order and descending order because maximum time people get confused between ascending and descending orders also. So the right answer over here is your option number four. Moving to the next question. Select the correctly written complete scientific three, name of mango. Three, option three. Option B. Is there anyone who says option, option one? Three, ma'am. Three. Three, ma'am. Three, ma very good. Yeah. Option number three is right. Okay. Hello. The last question for the day. Not for the day, but for this particular slide. One and four. Option three. Okay. One goes with option, option three. Three, ma'am. Three, ma'am. Okay, who will tell me what is the wrong statement? What is the correct version of that? Ma'am, option three, it was Carlinus, and for second, it affects. Yeah, it affects, right? Photopier does affect the reproduction in plants, right? Yes. Chalo. Yeah, clear, right? Everyone is clear with this thing. We'll start with the taxonomic category. So, who will tell me what is taxonomic category now? Yes, read all the definitions, right? Till now. So, what do you understand by taxonomic category? What is taxonomic category? Ma'am, it's a group of organisms which exhibits fundamental similarities called species, ma'am. Species is the basic unit of classification, ma'am. Okay. Okay, yeah, so taxonomic category is generally just the hierarchy that we follow, right? Now, what, what whatever we study, like you're starting from kingdom to your species, generally we say that there is a category that we need to rank them or we need to categorize them into particular things. So yeah, classification, I can say otherwise the classification is a stepwise process in which each steps represent your category, rank or steps, right? So the process which you studied, like identification, nomenclature and all, we need to categorize them. Either they need to, which particular organism need to place in which kingdom, which phylum, which order, right? So that are called as rank or the, you can say rank also, you can say category also, or you can say steps also. So classification is nothing but a stepwise process in which you, like each steps are represented in a category. You, the, it is either the same thing, category or rank. So who will tell you what is the, a uh, scientific term that has been uh, denoted for category and rank. Taxon. Very good. Taxon, right? So many times it is the same thing. Either you can call them as a rank, category, or taxon. They're also called as a taxon. So the common question comes, someone said me, right, uh, unit of classification is species. May I know who was that? Like unit of classification. Someone said, I guess, uh, species, I, I don't remember when I asked the uh, definition of category, I guess. Yeah. So when you, when they uh, talk about unit of classification, the unit of classification is taxon. But when they ask about the real basic unit of classification, then we say it is species. So it is a slight difference or twist in the uh, terminology that we represent. So unit of classification is taxon. Okay. Generally, your NCRT says that the taxon and category are the same, but there is a slight difference between them. So I'll just tell you what is the difference over here. Okay. So uh, just imagine, just uh, just 
for example, Papa, just take that your physics faculty, chemistry faculty, and me, right? We all three are your faculties. But can you uh, can you just tell that we uh, we we all three are same person? No, right? We all are three different person, but we are placed yeah. into a same uh, same uh, position. Our positions are same, but if you see an individual level, we are all three different person. One is your biology faculty, one is your physics faculty, one is your chemistry. But if you see all together, all together are your faculties, right? So the all together faculty is your category. And if you talk about a biology faculty, physics faculty, or a chemistry faculty, that means they are taxon. Able to follow the difference? So if you say taxon yes. is nothing but it represent a living entity, a single uh, a particular organism. Actually, if you talk about right, okay. And category is something which represent the sorry, it should be rank. It is written as tank over here. It is rank, okay. Represent the rank of the organism, right? So if, uh, as, as I've given example of the faculty, so faculty is a category. But if I talk about Pushpa or Palguni, so they are taxon. Right? Able to follow the difference between taxon and category now? So if you uh, if you talk about uh, Solanaceae, right? Solanaceae family, that is a family. So that is a complete category. But if you talk about a particular organism which belongs to that particular thing, that is called as taxon. Because there are n number of uh, uh, organisms which belong to the same family, Solanaceae, right? So we cannot say that they all are all having the same taxon. So every individual, uh, individual organisms are called as taxon and when they are placed into a particular rank or a group they are called as category so this is a slight difference between the taxon and category is this clear okay am i able to make a difference right is it yes. clear or not sure okay now we'll move yes, to the uh, next one uh, I just wanted to uh, understand whether you have understood this thing or not. Suppose I, I give an example. Uh, over here. So just attempt this question and let's tell you what does it mean. Rice, monopot and plant are, what do we can say that they are of similar taxa belonging to different category, different taxa belonging to different category, different taxa belonging to similar category or similar taxa belonging to similar category. I have brought up this question just because it is given in your NCRT book, but generally people get confused with taxa and category actually. That's the reason I have brought up this question for you guys. What would be the answer for this? Option C. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Option C. Why can C. someone explain me why option C? Because it is similar. Category category on demand, but it's a different thing. How can it is in similar category? Is rice? Uh, what is what a plant? B, I think. Who said B? Can I know the name? Sorry, I'm not able to see your screens actually. Ma'am, mercy. Very good, mercy. It is option B. Can you why? Can you tell me why it is option B? Option B is the right answer actually, but I just wanted to know how did you come to a conclusion? Option B is the right answer. Ma'am, hello. Uh, uh, all are like same, different categories only, ma'am, and different structures and different functions, ma'am. Very good. Rice, monopot, and plant. Okay, if you see in the taxa level, they are different. Rice is a different. What is rice? Rice is species, right? What is monopot? Monopot is a class, right? What is plant? Plant is a kingdom. So, so they all are different in taxa level also, and they are different in your category level also, right? We have a species category, we have a class category, and we have a kingdom category. So three different categories we are talking about over here. Is this question clear to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes. How, yes, ma how about if I say wheat and rice? What should be the answer for this? Wheat and rice. Uh, different, uh, similar C. category and different tags. Uh, C for that. Option C, ma'am. Who said similar texts of belong to different category? I guess someone said similar texts, I guess. How come no, wheat and it's option C, no. Very good. It's option C, right? Wheat and how come wheat and rice, uh, they both are, uh, they don't belong to the same uh, species, right? Rice and uh, rice and wheat, they are different. They're different species. Rice is different and wheat is different. So they have a different texts, but they both are species. That's the reason they belong to a similar category. 
ठीक है क्लियर है राइट यहाँ तक ए पोर्शन कम्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन विल यू गाइज गेट कन्फ्यूज और कर लोगे एग्जाम में विल यू एबल टू डू दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन एग्जाम Very good. Because it has been written into the NCERT. That's the reason I'm just picking up the lines from there. That the question may be from from which particular line. So you never know that the NTA will form which kind of questions, right? Okay. Chalo. How about if I talk about uh, lion and leopard? Option C. Option C, right? Just just able to recognize. This. Just have a knowledge about taxa. And category, take option C. Okay, so now we'll move to the taxonomical hierarchy. So hierarchy is nothing but the arrangement of all these categories that we're talking about, right? I was talking about species, class, kingdom. So arrangement of all these categories into a proper manner is called a taxonomical hierarchy. So we'll talk about all this in detail now. So who will tell me the hierarchy in the descending order? Can you please put my slide? Like shall I tell, ma'am? Yeah, Tejesh, when you go on, kingdom, kingdom, phylum hmm. or division, class, order, family, genus, and species. Very good. Yeah. So that is your descending order techno uh, te uh, taxonomic hierarchy. Generally, in the exam, they ask you to arrange this taxonomical hierarchy in the ascending order or descending order, or they may ask you which one is missing from uh, between the uh, uh, categories, right? So this kind of portion has generally been asked. So here, uh, while teaching this taxonomical hierarchy, yeah. I'll be just... yeah. Um, uh, order uh, in case of animals, order is used as cohort. Is it still in use, or it was used earlier? No, it's still in use. Generally, we use. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll be just okay. dealing with around five to around four to five portion that will generally ask from this particular section. Apart from that, they won't ask you from this section any more portion. So I'll just deal with all the different kind of portion that is going to ask from this particular section. Okay. So we all know, right? The term phylum is used for animal, and the term division over here. I haven't written the division section, but yeah, generally we use division for plants. So phylum and division is the same thing. It's just a different key. Phylum term is used for animals, and division term we use for plants. So from this section, five common portion that usually comes are like the first portion is will be like your uh wait, uh okay. So just first, just first. This is I have just brought up this particular keywords. If you guys don't remember all those things, so you can use this uh, uh, mnemonics. I can say to remember the hierarchy and please know what is the ascending and descending order also. So when we come from top to bottom, it's called descending. From bottom from species to kingdom, it's called as ascending. Okay. So the five question. I want you guys to answer those questions along with me. So the first question is your. Similar character. I want to know if I talk about the similar character from ascending order to descending, ascending order in ascending order, and from species to kingdom, what will happen? It will increase or decrease. The similar character will increase or decrease in the case of ascending order. Decrease. 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 Sure, sir. Sabko pakka. Decrease. Yes. Right. Yes, ma'am. Is there any confusion? Kisi ko koi confusion is pe? How it will decrease? How about general character? Similar character will decrease, right? How about general characters? Increase. Both are increase. Increase. Can you explain me how it is increase? अपने रट लिया है क्या? All magu over here. Tell me the logic behind increase. Death Although it is the right death. answer, it is the increase only. But how? And just like we are doing them, we are approaching it, right? So we are considering it more. Okay. If someone has any better explanation for this, if someone has any better explanation for this, okay. ओके ठीक है जनरल कैरेक्टर इज जनरल कैरेक्टर का मतलब ये होता है कि लाइक वी आर डीलिंग विद अ लाइक वाइडर रेंज ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स राइट लाइक द कॉमन कैरेक्टर्स जनरली वी टॉक अबाउट नॉट कॉमन आई कैन से लाइक द वाइडर रेंज सो इफ यू गो टुवर्ड्स द किंगडम इट इंक्रीजेस जनरल कैरेक्टर्स गेट इंक्रीज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर हाउ अबाउट स्पेसिफिसिटी हाउ 
How about specificity? They are very specific, right? If I talk about in a species level about tiger, so I'm very specific ki species may be the tiger, tiger, tiger. Hai. And when you come to the genus level, I may include some other organisms also along with tiger. So what will happen to the specificity in the ascending order? Increase or decrease? Hoga? Decrease. Very good. Decrease. decrease. Hoga. So just to try to think with a, like considering with example, it will decrease. We are very specific, right? The species level is very specific. Hai. The tiger have two eyes and the hair for as a hota hai. but when you go to the genus level it may reduce right family it may again reduce that specificity so specificity goes on decreasing as you go towards your kingdom the four type of question that ask is your complexity of classification process what will happen to those complexity it will be easy increase to increase in ascending order increase. ascending order increase. Increase. it will increase it will increase Okay, why you go? Yeah, in descending order, it will decrease. In ascending order, it will increase, right? Because we know as we are going towards the kingdom, there is a wide range of organisms are included into the uh, particular category, and because of that, it makes us difficult to categorize them, right? Chalo. The next one is the greater the group, greater will be the difficulty to find the relations. If someone is can you find the relationship uh, relationship for the similarity between a class and order right or class in the family it become very difficult for us as we move towards the kingdom or it will move towards the higher order right so the uh, greater the group greater the group means towards the kingdom greater will the difficulty to find the relationship or the similarities between taxa or organism in a group Right. It is very easy to find the similarities when we talk about the species level because we know we have 10 tigers, only 10 tigers are there. But when, when we talk about genus, right, we have included some more organism along with tiger over there. So it makes us difficult to find the what can be the relationship that we have made these two groups to fall into the same genus. If you talk about family, then again the difficulty comes. Okay, what has made us to fall all this four to five different kind of organism into the same family? So as we go on increasing our hierarchy, it become difficult for us to find out the similarity between the organisms. So these are the four, like five different kinds of questions that are generally asked in the exam from the taxonomical hierarchy. Is this clear for all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma they may ask you to, uh, they may, the simplest question that they ask is like to arrange the taxonomical hierarchy. The second one is to find out the similar character increase hota hai, decrease hota hai. So you need to know ascending order and descending order because they will specifically mention to find out a similar character in a descending order or in the ascending order. The so same goes with the characters also specificity, complexity and similar uh, relationship between the organisms. So you should remember this particular thing in the exam because only this particular slide will give you at least four to eight marks in the exam because we have seen in 2022, if you see the question paper, we have got around two questions from this particular section in that particular year. So just eight marks only for one slide. Okay.